Hey, welcome to the Jewish Singers channel. Today we take a look at one of the biggest Jewish singers today. The History and Future of Mordecai Shapiro Before we begin, please drop a like below, and follow us on Instagram at Jewish Singers 4. Mordecai Shapiro is one of the biggest Jewish singers today. He constantly has concerts around the world, and has some of the most viewed music videos ever. He has released a total of three albums so far. He also has a total of nine music videos, three of them being singles. His first album, Cole Haderick, was released in March 2016. His first music video came out with the release of the album. Cole Haderick currently has over 2 million views. The second video was also from his first album, but came out a few months later. Shar Mitzvah currently has over 4 million views. After he released Shar Mitzvah he took off. People heard about him and he started growing. He sang at multiple weddings that year, and was a guest at many concerts. Shar Mitzvah really started him off. About a year after that he released his second album. Macher was released in October 2017. With the release of the album came another music video. Macher currently has over 5 million views. This was the second song he composed, but the first people liked. He got a ton of attention from this song, and the entire album. He grew and was featured at more concerts, coming in with his umbrella. He even sang at the Hask concert. After seeing his album was a success, and everyone loved the song he composed, he decided to compose another song. Bayashad came out a little after his second album and currently has over 2 million views. The song really helped him and was instantly a hit. Following the success of that song, he called upon Yitzi Waldner and worked on composing another single. Together they composed Friends. The video was released in summer 2018, and is close to 2 million views. Just before that he released the second video from the Macher album. Lekka currently has over 1.5 million views. For Hanukkah he decided to do the same. Morty and Yitzi Waldner composed K. De La Hodos. It came out in December 2018 and currently has a million views. At this point he was an amazing singer, but then. In June 2019 he released the album Hackle Mishamayim. The album was a huge hit and brought him up to where he is today. With the release of the album came a music video. Hackle Mishamayim currently has over 3 million views in only 10 months. That's crazy. Following the album release he had many concerts around the globe. Morty composed the song himself leaving his three most recent compositions being his biggest hits. The rest of the album he worked with other composers, and together they came up with awesome music. In December 2019 Morty released one in a million music video. The second video from the Hackle Mishamayim album. The video was a hit, but being that it's an English song, it doesn't have as many views. The video has just about 500,000 views in 4 months. Still very impressive. Enough history. What brought Mordecai to being the singer he is today? And did Morty change the Jewish music world? Before Morty there were mainly a few big singers and that's it. New singers came but never made it to the top. Singers like Shweki, Benny Friedman, and Avraham Fried were on top. Morty came into the industry with a new music style. The music was an instant hit. Morty also spent a lot of money on his music videos, which made them enjoyable to watch. Morty has changed the way Jewish music is. Singers used to make their money from selling albums, but in today's world that's almost impossible. What Morty did was focus on making better videos, and he got his money from views instead. Morty also has two videos for each album. Something that was uncommon at the time. As a result of Mordecai getting views on his videos, other singers instantly saw a boost. They also saw the idea of producing a second video for each album. Many more videos started popping up, and singers started making back the money they spent on an album from their music videos. Back to our question. What brought Mordecai Shapiro to the singer he is today? The answer to that question is, his new style music, and his videos. And did he change the Jewish music world? Yes. Now other singers learned from him and focus on these things too. Morty broke the barrier and made it to be one of the best singers because he tried new things. Then he started having multiple concerts and traveling around a lot more than other singers did. That gave him another boost. 
Morty is arguably the best Jewish singer today, but he's definitely in the top three. In the next few years Morty is predicted to reach the number one rank. His music videos have some of the most views ever, and he has the fastest growth on his videos. His Hackle Mishamayim video hit 3 million views in only 10 months. That's a record. It's safe to say that Morty's success with his videos have helped others like Simha Liner, Uri Davidi, and Dovid Perlman. Morty has a little over 25,000 subscribers. Check out our video on Jewish singers with the most subscribers. Not including Israeli singers, Yaakov Shweki has the most subscribers, he has about 70,000. Morty looks like he's on the way to pass that soon. As for Israeli singers, Yishe Rebo has over 200,000. It might take him a little longer to beat that. As for views Morty definitely wins. He also has a niece following on Instagram. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out our other videos, and share them with your friends. It really helps us. Please subscribe with notifications on and drop a like below. Comment below what you think about this video and don't forget to vote in the poll above. Follow us on Instagram at Jewish Singers 4. If there's a topic you want to see us discuss, comment it below. Thanks for watching.